The next video was shared by Jack, who states that he and his girlfriend were out that night on their way to the Blue Ghost Tunnel. To follow up on some research they found on the internet, they came across something pretty inexplicable in their minds. Important to note, they state that they did not bring any flashlights at the time of their initial recordings and only came back with one after exiting the cave and running into a couple that actually had brought one way later. Let's take a look. I can hear your footsteps. I just seen a light at the end of the tunnel. What the f Hello? What the f was that? A mysterious light was seen right at the end of the tunnel. Given that nobody had a flashlight, it made them wonder what could have been the cause for that. Also, the cries for help were only discovered after the couple had returned home. Was it cries from the afterlife? In 1888, 30 people lost their lives right in front of the tunnel when a train crashed after the conductor had jumped off and left the machine, as well as several more fatal accidents that had taken place around the cave. Could this all be the reason for the residual energy that might have been captured on tape here? Who can say? This video has been shared by Fourth Wall and it features a man who documented an eerie case of paranormal activity in the house of his late grandmother. He states that the whole family believed that she had a drawer which had an evil spirit attached to it. And there was a lot of weird phenomena whenever they were visiting. Now the grandson was documenting the weird things in this abandoned home that were still taking place. They think that this potentially is the spirit of his grandma sitting at her dining table on the floor. Is this possible? This video was forwarded by Sunbro and he found it on a channel called Neon V White. It features a young man who was recording a video featuring his newly developed piano skills. However, the really interesting part is unfolding in the background. The young man had never uploaded anything creepy, so his viewers were a little bit intrigued. I got bored over the quarantine and I'm trying to learn the piano. So yeah. What's up guys? Uh, Dan here. I got bored over the quarantine and I'm trying to learn the piano. All of a sudden the door opens behind him and he seems quite a bit surprised. Of course he leaves the room to check. Can't find anything though. When he then reconstructs these events and pans the camera towards the room, he can see a dark shadow standing in front of his closet. 
Neon later states that he didn't see anything weird at the time, so we can only suspect that maybe only the camera could pick this apparition up, right? If it wasn't just a skit, of course. The following clip has been posted by a user called dstock95 and he starts the thread by saying during a power outage in an isolated town I was living in for work, I took a video after noticing all the cars had stopped on the road. I couldn't even hear them running. When the internet came back and a snap sent by a friend said, at least you weren't alone. But I was. I've had multiple paranormal experiences, but this is the only one I've caught that still makes people shiver. So what had happened? Bruh. People seem to see a figure sitting at the counter in front of the candle. Can you see it? The interesting part is, D-Stock responds with, there was actually no chairs there. There was an L-shaped countertop that I used for food prep. It looks to me as though someone is standing there and leaning on the counter. All I know is no one was in the house besides me, as I also have a video of me stubbing my toe on the way to the door. And in that video, nothing is there. What do you guys think? Is it a paranormal apparition? Or is it just a confusing effect caused by the candles? This is another really strange video of a security camera, which was monitored by a security guard. He was looking at the camera system, which was surveilling the museum he was working in. He stated that he saw a weird shadow walking around, which initially caught his attention, and he started recording it off of his screen. There were some people enjoying the exhibition still, however, a semi-transparent shape seemed to pop up randomly. He had never seen something like that before. There was also a strange orb. In the end it's not really clear what was captured that day. Let's take another look at the Joshua Luck family, who have been experiencing paranormal events for months now. The family has posted their latest paranormal experiences online. If you are not familiar with the Joshua Luck haunting, go check out this clip, where I dedicated an entire video to the creepy things happening to this family. This first video was taken during a live stream inside the family store, where much of the paranormal activity has been occurring. The father, Luan, and his wife set up two cameras in the shop both aimed at the mannequin. There have been paranormal occurrences related to this mannequin in the past, so it makes sense that they wanted to investigate further. Once both cameras have been placed, it takes no time at all for something creepy to occur. In 
the top camera, we see Luan ensuring the mannequin is secured and properly in the frame. Shortly after, we see something peering out of the side, lurking out from the left of the mannequin. About the video, Luan wrote, A few days ago, we did a live on my wife's account and you can see the face of a woman on the live stream. You can see she moves her head and eyes. Most viewers agree that this is the same spirit that has been haunting this family for months. Do you see the resemblance? The next video was also taken in the family store. And this one was taken by Mother Masha. She was filming the store late at night after the store had closed and she was alone to clean up. It seems like a quiet night, but she notices something when she turns the corner. Did you see that? When Masha turns the corner, she quickly notices a terrifying shadow figure. It appears to be quite large and is crouching over a loft area. Given the paranormal history of the store, it makes sense that Masha is terrified when she notices the large black creature. Let me know what you think of these new updates in this series. Pretty creepy, isn't it? The following video was captured by a young man who was visiting a sick family member in the hospital that day. There's some eerie stories about ghostly sightings that have been reported in this building. After his visit, he decided to use the washroom and when initially hearing some unusual screams from within there, he decided to record his short trip to the washroom. In just for a brief moment, the young man seems to capture someone in slippers and a hospital gown passing him by in the background. He didn't even realize what he had captured here. And of course, there's no trace of anybody who could have been using the visitors' washrooms, which is why many say that this was probably a spirit walking the old rooms of the hospital. This clip was recorded and shared by Danny Tumia. We have taken a look at some of his previous recordings before, which all have been relatively creepy. Tonight he started a video to talk about his favorite Halloween movies, when he hears a knock towards the left in the hallway. Even his dog seems to have noticed. Then he captures this creepy thing. Halloween has all my favorite Halloween movies on right now, and this is one of my favorite movies. Whoa, what is that? What is that? Daryl? 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 
Many people are unsure what had happened here exactly. Some say it's a negative entity, others say it's just cheap effects, but whatever it was in the end, gave a couple of viewers some really bad nightmares. Who can blame them? Now we want to check out a video by Paranormal Instincts and the uploader tells us a video clip showing a girl walking her dog at night. The dog seems to react to something in the trees. Young woman and Brucey the dog. Come on. Oi. Come on. <whistles> Bruce. Come on. This could have been an alien encounter. Is it paranormal? Well, that could also be the case, right? And the family believes that something really strange is going on in their house. The user states, raise the volume up. You will hear something saying, help me. I would totally believe this was just somebody hacking my hour law. But the other events that have happened in my mom's house with my daughter and myself are just too unexplainable. We've had another incident with her nanny cam and seeing a black shadow near her, an orb, and her suddenly waking up and screaming. I've had issues in my own room with the feeling of somebody watching me, breathing on my neck, severe night terrors, and missing items that suddenly return. This has been recurring since I was pregnant with my little one. I hope moving to another home will help. So, what do you think happened here? A recording of a spirit? Or did somebody else get access to their Arlo security system? clip was posted by user Wisepaint. His dad is working as a caretaker and handyman in a local hotel and has many strange stories to tell about this place. Today he was tasked with fixing an air conditioning unit in one of the many rooms in this hotel. As per usual, he was recording this for hotel management and to document his thoughts and notes about this piece of machinery. After a little while, it would appear that the man didn't seem to be alone anymore. Wise Paint stated, My dad recorded this. At some point, he recorded a woman's voice. At least that's what we think. And then the phone seems to get touched. It would appear that there is indeed a voice coming through. A faint whisper, but what was it saying? And is it English? Then the phone seems to get tipped over and falls to the ground. A strange encounter to say the least. Do you think this was just a noise created by the drill? Or maybe the AC itself? Let me hear your thoughts about this.
The next clip we will be looking at comes from La Juela del Terror. This clip is actually from a live stream during a paranormal investigation. This account often holds live events where they take viewers with them to creepy, abandoned and haunted locations and take, and take them through as they hunt for spirits. In the video we will be looking at today, the team is just starting a new investigation at an abandoned warehouse building. And one of the group is explaining the history and backstory when he leans over to grab something. Did you see that? When the man leans over, something can be seen peeking out from behind his shoulder. It appears that this could possibly be a shadow figure hiding behind the man, or worse, some sort of demonic entity that has attached itself to him. What do you make of this capture? Is this a legitimate paranormal encounter, or is it possibly just a really well-timed shadow? This is another recording from the paranormal section of Reddit, which was posted by a concerned user. He and a friend were on an investigation that night. They had their camera set up in what appears to be the pool area of a building and captured something interesting. He states, Apparition, to the left of the screen you can see a white figure and if you look closely, a black mass following it. To me it looks like a swimming arm and the black mass is the rest of the body. As soon as the white wisp disappears into the wall, our camera that is connected to a battery pack just dies. Can you guys see here? Is it possible that a spirit was going through their old swimming motions? Maybe it was just a shadow, either being cast by one of the two men or something from the outside. Who can say for sure? The following video was sent by Annette and she just found it on the paranormal section of Reddit. It is said that it was captured by the security system of user Londo Lance, that kept his recording private for over a year, before now deciding to share it and get critics' opinions of what we could be looking at here. He simply stated, This was captured off of security camera outside my house. Something is trying to get in. Recorded between 2 and 4 am. Thoughts? Well, let's take a look. There undoubtedly is something entering through the glass sliding door. And the comment section is baffled, since nobody really had a good idea of what is going on here. Do you? Could it have been something on the lens perhaps? Very unlikely, according to most comments, since the shadow just vanishes. If anything, it's creepy for sure. And now we are taking another look at the infamous body cam footage that was captured by the police as well as the cleaning crew as they were investigating the Watts family home in which Chris Watts' wife Shannon had been deceased. The team was actually coming across several EVPs and creepy sightings in there. Some people claim that one of the daughters can be seen up the stairs while the search team makes their entrance into the living room. Let's watch that again. Uh -huh. 
I can't say for certain if this is truly an apparition, but it is definitely possible. What do you think? At this point we can hear an EVP, which sounds pretty similar to Get Out Alive. Followed by an unknown female voice saying no. Next, the two officers make it into a closet, which on further inspection appears to be a wardrobe in one of the bedrooms. Listen closely as a faint giggle is being captured in the background. Yes. The two officers clearly heard the laughing child as well, and now we're looking for explanations of where this giggle could have originated from. But of course they had no idea. Something. There was a... I heard it. Did you hear it? I did. Sounded like a kid giggling or something, didn't it? Or a kid... It did. Let's listen to some more EVPs captured in this residence. Yes. Yes. On the following night, neighbors informed the police that the woman had been seen and recorded by CCTV camera entering the house of the Watts family. What is pretty unexplainable though is the fact that she apparently has never left the house afterwards. Hmm. Also, the squad noticed that the lights in the garage had been turned on. Right after that charming introduction, the team makes their way in to investigate what was going on in this house. They split up to cover more ground. While exploring, they capture several inexplicable occurrences. The next we see is that members of the squad are making their way upstairs to check for anybody in the building. Some viewers claim that they see a figure peeking out behind one of the policemen. Let me know if you see anything. Thank <laughs> you. 
Possibly the shadow of Bella. While this officer is guarding the dining area, a shadow seems to have moved quickly from the right to the left. Other viewers also state that they could see a shadow on the chair and unusual activity on the right. What's your opinion? It appears that the man also saw something, but who knows. Now, we wanna look at the updated case of El Franco, who thinks that an evil entity is inheriting his old apartment. He decided to place a night camera in his room, because he doesn't feel safe there anymore. A bite mark on his arm is proof for his concerns. And yes, shortly after setting everything up, he became witness to some unusual activity that unfolded during his sleep. Looks like a ton of orbs and an inexplicable object right in front of the lens. Even when not asleep, stuff just starts happening in his room. This night, the door just opened to his room. Although he was the only person home, and all three of his cats were with him. So what could have caused that? At least he was suspicious at that point. But it got better. Something was tampering with the tower of his cats. And the following night, the entity opened the door again. Maybe just to say hi. Very unsettling. Another time he was just playing with one of his cats. And there appears to be something peeking around the corner. That some say is terrifying. I want to- Hey! Hey! Some viewers say it is the head of a female. Could it be? But how? And where did it go? Convinced that it is in fact the spirit of a female, he tries a ritual in the bathroom to get rid of her. What do we make out of that? Did the spirit answer? Or is some foul play involved here? Almost a little bit too creepy to be honest. 
He catches her staring, now almost on a daily basis. Wouldn't you be terrified at this point? Is it a demon or a shadow figure? Or maybe both? If it isn't a hoax, of course. And sometimes it's just the cats that give him a good spook. Thank God, right? But this must have been one of the most terrifying captures that his night camera could capture. Look at the eye that is definitely looking at him. I mean, it is pretty safe to say that this must be a demon. If it isn't just a friend in a mask. Were you creeped out? Let me know. The following video was captured around 1 a.m. by a trucker who was navigating a seldom traveled road, notorious for its danger due to numerous past accidents, some of which ended tragically in fatalities. This had led some to deem the road as cursed, advocating for its permanent closure. However, for drivers like the one featured in today's video, alternatives to this treacherous route are limited. Tonight, Gastón Rodríguez and his co-driver found themselves on this notorious road to lighten the eerie atmosphere. They were listening to upbeat music when, suddenly, something quite unsettling unfolded. As their camera rolled, a mysterious, almost spectral figure darted across the dirt path, vanishing into thin air. Astonishingly, neither driver seemed to have noticed this enigmatic presence during the recording. It was only upon reviewing the footage that an overwhelming sense of dread overcame them. The identity of this elusive figure remains shrouded in mystery. Some speculate it could be the spirit of a departed accident victim, still wandering this cursed route. Whether it's a ghostly encounter or something else entirely, the footage raises perplexing questions, and it's leaving us to ponder the inexplicable nature of what was captured that fateful night. The following was uploaded to Reddit by user Light Surgery. He states, I just got a motion alert from my doorbell camera and this is what it captured. It appears to be a shadowy figure leaning around the side of the house and then walking off past the neighbor's car and onto the street. The house is opposite back onto a cemetery. My house is a Victorian terrace house in London, UK. I just bought the house and I'm currently renovating, so lots of change going on inside. I'm pretty terrified. People think that it looks like this thing has humanoid features, but does somehow look like a ghost. The quick movement is also pretty unusual. The man never found out if this was indeed something paranormal or just a scary person.
What is your opinion?